So now we've imported all of our data, entered in all of our PVT properties, and converted our casing pressures down to bottom hole pressure. We're ready to go ahead and do the pre-closure diagnostic. The first step is to enter in our initial shut-in pressure and our datum depth. And we're fine with the default values that we have calculated here, so we're going to move on. And next we're going to specify the shut-in period we wish to analyze. And we do that by clicking on the Select Flow Period button here and clicking on the appropriate section of data in the history chart. Uh, in this example, we've already got that final fall off selected. So we're going to go to the next step, which is to perform the analysis. Now the first step of the analysis is to identify closure. And we do this by taking a look at the g-function plot. And by moving this line so that we line it up to the straight line trend in the derivative data, we're looking for the point of departure from that straight line trend. And that is our fracture closure. And we can identify that by clicking on our fracture closure time arrow button here. And we can put a single arrow or synchronized arrows. And I'm going to go ahead and put a synchronized arrow on. Synchronized arrow. we'll have that same arrow on all of the plots so we can see where that point is identified on all of our different diagnostic plots. So the next step is going to be to confirm that fracture closure by looking at the peak of the first derivative on the square root t plot. And we can see that that fracture closure is identified by the peak of this first derivative, and we're very close to that peak. So our g function and square root t plots match up pretty closely. Okay, the last step is to go ahead and identify any after closure flow regimes. And in this case, you can see we have a negative one slope signifying impulse radial flow available to us. And we do see a negative one trend here at the end of our data. So I'm going to go ahead and identify that late time. As radial flow. 